Hey, what is going on today, YouTube? It's Gassy here, and we have week three of the PGL. This is our primetime match versus Sketchy Smear Goal and the Seattle Smear Goals. This is an inter uh, uh, divisional match, so it's going to matter a lot for certain things and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so um, the team you can see that I'm bringing is the Fortress, the Zapdos, the Mamoswine, the Mega Aggron, uh, Vaporeon, and I did pick up Talonflame, so I was able to bring that this week. So, um, Fortress is going to be a um, defensive set with Stealth Rocks and Toxic Spikes. Uh, Zapdos is going to be a sub Roost set with Toxic and Discharge. Um, Mamoswine is going to be an Assault Vest set. Uh, Mega Aggron is going to be a Curse Mega Aggron set. Uh, which could hopefully clean up his team. Um, Vaporeon is the standard set I've been bringing every week, and Talonflame is just a choice band set, in case he brought that Mega Pinsir, which I was pretty scared of. Um, so, looking at his team, he has the Arcanine, the Alamomola, the uh, Skarmory, uh, Kieran Black, Sylveon, and Jolteon. So, uh, looking at his team, his main thing to get rid of Hazard is going to be Skarmory, but if it doesn't have Defog, he has no way of Hazard removal. So the first thing I want to do is uh, get up my rocks and uh, Toxic Spikes if I can with Fortress. So, yep, I'm going to be leading off with my Fortress here as he leads off with his Jolteon, so let's just get right into the match here. So, yeah, this was a uh, primetime match. This was our first primetime match, and I was supposed to have it up earlier, but God knows. Um, so I'm going to lead off with Nox as he leads off with his Japanese shiny Jolteon thing. And uh, I'm just going to switch off right off the bat and go into my Mamoswine because I don't want him getting initiative with Bolt Switch. I know Mamoswine can basically stop this thing no matter what set it is. He does a weird play and stays in and goes for the Shadow Ball, which literally does jack shit. So I go for the knockoff, just because I kind of predicted him to switch out there. I don't know why he would stay in, but he does. And uh, I see he had Focus Sash, so this was some sort of anti-lead Jolteon set, which... Interesting. Um, so I just go for the Ice Charge, trying to knock out the Jolteon as he switches into Elamomola. Now I know I can't stay in here, and my best counter to this thing is going to be Vaporeon. Um, this was a very long match, a very long match, about 55 turns, and uh, yeah, so I do go into Vaporeon because it is my best counter to this thing, and um, like, if he has Scald, it's not going to do anything, if he has Toxic, I have Heal Bell, and uh, I can Scald burn this thing, so I'm just going to stay in here and keep going for Scalds for a while until I can get a Scald burn, and uh, yeah, I get one right off the bat, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been really lucky with Scald lately, I don't know why, but he does go for the Toxic and Poisons, um, Vaporeon, but I have Heal Bell, so that's not really gonna matter. <sighs> Sorry, too much in the long run. Um, I can set up with Mega Aggron against this thing, but I need to scout his Kieran Black, I need to scout his Skarmory, see if his Skarmory has Whirlwind, see if his Kieran Black has Earth Power. And if they don't, they can't hurt Mega Aggron. So, yeah. Uh, this was just a game of me scouting um, his Pokemon out until the very end when I knew Mega Aggron could do huge damage to his team and then just uh, go on from there and uh, do my business. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to switch out here after he, um, after I heal from the Toxic, go into Nox, uh, try and set up my rocks with Nox and that would really help me out to get my rocks up because if he hasn't if he doesn't have defog on the Skarmory then they're there to stay if he does then uh, they're gonna be a little bit harder to keep up but I don't think uh, I'm really thinking he doesn't have defog on the Skarmory for some reason he does go into uh, Arcanine here and I am just gonna get up my rocks so that's all good for me. Um, I was wondering the whole game if this thing had wild charge on it because 
I didn't want to switch in Vaporeon and take a wild charge to the face. So, yeah, but I just have to switch it in anyway. As he goes for extreme speed, I'm not sure what he was predicting there. The safest play would have just been going for the Flare Blitz had I gone into anything else. And, um... Yeah, or if I stayed in and went for, you know, Toxic Spikes again, but... I, I don't know. Maybe he just didn't want to take the recoil. Um, so he does go into Sovion here. And he takes the Rocks damage, and uh, I just went for a Protect to scout for that Wild Charge. Because I, I really didn't want to take a Wild Charge from uh, that Arcanine, because it would have done so much damage. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, you like, just woke up. Okay. So yeah, I did go for the Protect. I switch out into my Mega Aggron here because it is my best chance to Mega Evolve versus this thing if it does not have... Uh, if it's only attacking move is Hyper Voice, then it can't really do anything to me. And uh, I can set up on it also. So I have two things I could set up on now. Which is great because if I keep those things alive and let him keep them alive, he'll be uh, feeling too secure to try and... Uh, what are, what's the words? He'll be feeling way too secure to notice that uh, Mega Aggron is actually a Curse Mega Aggron and can set up on them. So I do just go for the Iron Head. I didn't want to set up too early. Um, I knew that Mega Aggron is my win condition and I need it. And uh, if it goes bad, <laughs> that could be bad. So I need to keep it preserved. Um, I am just going to switch back into Sushi here because it's a straight counter to this thing, like it can't do anything to me, it can just Toxic me and that's fine, uh, as he does predict the uh, Vaporeon coming in going for the Toxic, that's whatever though, I have Heal Bell, um, so it's really not going to matter, and uh, I believe I just do go for the Heal Bell here, which would make the most sense to be honest, it should, it should. Um, he does withdraw. <laughs> so sorry guys, I'm like so tired. And he goes into B and A, which is the Kiram Black. It's gonna take nice stealth rock damage, which is, which is amazing because this thing is a threat and a half to my team. I'm just gonna go for the heal bell, bell chimes, and uh, I get rid of the poison. And I believe right here I do just go for the protect, possibly. Uh, yeah, okay. Scouting for the Fusion Bolt. He goes for the Iron Head, though, predicting the uh, Mammoth Swine to come in. And, uh, you know, safest play was just going for a Protect there, seeing what he wanted to do, scouting for it, and uh, whatnot. So he does switch back out for some reason, as uh, I believe I went for a Scald, maybe? Where I switched out? I can't remember. No, I went for a Wish. Okay. Makes the most sense. Um, yeah, I went for a wish because I was thinking I could take a fusion bolt depending on this thing set and uh, my defense investment. So if I just go for a wish and protect and, you know, kind of screw around with the thing, but yeah. So I am going to go back into Nox here. And if he has hidden power fire, fine, I can take it. Um, I get my wish off, but he goes for a wish, which kind of tells me he doesn't have hidden power fire or, um, anything to really hit steel types with this Sylveon, which is kind of bad considering I have two of them. He does go back out into Arcanine, and this is where I set up my Toxic Spikes because I know I'm going to need them to wear down the Alamomola, to wear down the Sylveon, to wear down the Jolteon, Arcanine, Kieran Black, things like that that, uh, you know, Mega Aggron's, some, some things that Mega Aggron's going to want to set up on and want them to die to poison while it's setting up on them. So he does go for a Flare Blitz here. I'm just going to get up a second layer of Toxic Spikes. I think my Fortress is worth that. So he does get a crit. doesn't really matter. Um, I do live on Sturdy and I get up my second layer of Toxic Spikes here. Uh, I should, yes. Um, now this, this Arcanine was throwing me off the whole match because it had Intimidate, but it, it was also Life Orb. So it was really weird. Um, to me <laughs> about how like weird of a set this was so I am just gonna switch out go back into sushi um, because I'm not seeing any wild charge from this thing and he does show me morning Sun so I figured it was kind of a um, offensive Arcanine with morning Sun 
Uh, I'm not sure what his last move was. He never showed it. But he's going to switch out here and go into that Alamomola. And uh, that's fine by me. You know, he's taking the poison damage then. And um, that's perfect for me because uh, his only heal beller is Sylveon. And since they're toxic spikes, you can't constantly keep heal belling them up. Um, you know. So I did go for a Scald. Just see how much it does to this thing. I think I got a crit. I'm not even sure. I got a lot of hacks this match. Um, he goes for a Scald. I absorb it. Uh, I guess he was predicting me to switch to Fortress there. Uh, I do go for the Wish. Uh, try and pass it to something or just stay in and take it. I'm not sure. Either one really works. So uh, I believe he switches out here. I believe he does. Uh, no, I switch out. What do I go into? Okay, I go into the Mega Aggron, trying to set up here, I think. And uh, he just goes for a Scald. I'm hoping it doesn't burn me. I don't think he gets one Scald burn this game. No. And uh, it's fine, because even if he did burn me, I have Rest on this thing. So I could always heal back up. And I have Sleep Talk. So, you know, I'm not useless when I use Rest. Uh, so he is going to withdraw here, as I believe I do just go for the Iron Head, which is my safest play. He goes into the Skarmory. Now, this is where I'm trying to scout what what set is this Skarmory. Um, actually, no, I switch out also. Back into Sushi. Um, this is where I'm scouting what, what kind of set is this Skarmory. Is it going to be hazard stacking? Is it just going to be defog? Um, is it going to try and get rid of my hazards? Like, what, what's going on? So I am going to switch in Fortress, predicting him to set up the Stealth Rocks, and knowing that Fortress would go down to the Stealth Rocks if I sent it in later anyway. So, he does go for the Stealth Rocks, um, which tells me he doesn't have Defog. Uh, if you're going to go for the Rocks first before you go for Defog, you're not going to do that. That's a waste of turns, then. You would have just went for Defog, then Rocks. So he doesn't have Defog. Perfect. My, my hazards are here to stay. Whatever. Uh, so he does go for the Brave Bird, takes out my Fortress, that's fine, whatever. Fortress did its job, it got hazards up, those are here to stay. Uh, he can't get rid of them. So I sell Stealth Rocks, Brave Bird, uh, he has to have Roost, and the last move either has to be Defog or Whirlwind. Uh, he went for he went for Stealth Rocks already, so it can't be Defog, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Whirlwind, which could be a bit scary if I try to set up with my Mega Aggron later. Uh, so I do just go for a dish, uh, no, I go for a substitute here, predicting him to go out into the Jolteon, and the reason I did that is so that the Jolteon would go down to the, the Stealth Rocks plus Toxic Spikes combo, and it couldn't really take out my Zapdos then. So I do just go for a sub, and yeah, this Jolteon can't really do anything to me now, so... I'm hoping that I can get him to go down to rocks plus toxic spikes. Uh, as you see, he's in range of uh, when he comes back in to take stealth rocks damage. He goes for the volt switch here, as I do just go for another uh, substitute, knowing that he could break mine because I'm not specially defensive. I'm physically defensive, so that's going to be doing enough damage to break my sub. So he does go back out into the Sylveon here, which is fine by me. I know he's just going to try and spam Heal Bell to heal his Pokemon, but it's it's not really going to help because they're toxic spikes. Um, so every time a Pokemon comes in, they take damage from them. Now, the thing I was scared of is this thing being um, being able to knock me out with a Hyper Voice through my sub. And uh, that was something that never really came up when he was uh, 1v1ing me with this versus my Zapdos, I don't know why. I never even saw him use Hyper Voice, so I'm not, I'm not even sure what his last move could have been. Um, it was most likely Hyper Voice. <laughs> so I did just go for a Roost here, um, trying to st stall him a bit because I know I have the pressure, so he, he has less heal bells than he usually has, which is perfect. And um, he goes for one right here, cures all his Pokemon of Poison, but that's really fine. Um, and I'm just gonna go for a Toxic here, because if I can get him to keep going for Heal Bells, he'll eventually run out of them, especially since I have Pressure. He has only half the amount of Heal Bells he actually has, so if he has eight, he actually has four. I think at this point he had seven, and then he had uh, five, three, two, yeah. So he goes for a Calm Mine here, and 
I'm thinking, oh, that's kind of scary um, because, uh, you know, it can really hurt my team if it sets up too many call mines. But then I was thinking, eh, Mega Aggron doesn't really give a shit. Like, <laughs> so he's going to keep taking some poison damage here. I'm going to go for a discharge just to see how much it does to this thing after a plus one uh, because I was really interested to see how much it would do. Um, also, if he switched out, you know, something like that. I don't know. He's been playing some weird games. I'd get, I'd get a crit. And uh, so that doesn't really... <laughs> it gives me somewhat of an idea. But sort of a bad one. So, yeah. No bueno. Um, so he is going to go for a wish here. Uh, he's trying to make this thing live when it really isn't going to. Especially if it's poisoned so much. So I am going to switch out here. Uh, go into Tanklin. And I know I can just scare this thing out by going for an Iron Head and um whatnot i'm not sure if these are the turns no so he goes for a heal bell that's fine i'm just gonna scare this thing out because i know it can't stay in against uh, mega aggron in 1v1 it, even if it's at plus one uh this thing is not gonna want to take iron heads from me it's not gonna want to screw around with me so it has to switch out i think i just go for an iron head to be safe as he does switch back out skarmory and um i yeah i go for an iron head because that Sylveon was becoming a threat real quick, so I didn't want to mess around with it too much. Ugh. God. Um, so right here, I believe, he shows me spikes, and I, I messaged him in the chat. I was like, oh, you don't have Whirlwind. <laughs> he, I, I got no response, but I knew that that was confirmation that he doesn't have Whirlwind. I can start setting up with this thing. Um, I'm figuring Kieran Black is more of a physical base set since I saw Iron Head, um, so it wouldn't have Earth Power on it. I think it had probably Outrage, Ice Beam, Fusion Bolt, Iron Head, something like that, I don't know. Um, but it, he just couldn't do anything to this thing once I start setting it up, so right here he has his Alamomola in versus me. As you're gonna see, a Skull does jack freaking shit to Mega Aggron. It does nothing. Um, even if he did burn me within the few turns, what she was trying to do, uh, it wouldn't have mattered because I have rest anyway, so, you know, it, this was just complete setup fodder for Mega Aggron, um, so he does go for the Scald, and that does absolutely nothing, he doesn't get a burn, which is fine, I do have rest and sleep talk, so it, I'm not, like, completely useless versus this thing, uh, but I know I can just keep going for curses until he goes down to the Toxic Poison, and uh, Mega Aggron can do serious damage from there on out. Uh, he does try to stop this uh, with his Skarmory, but his Skarmory was not able to handle Mega Aggron in the first place. Uh, sure, it can take hits from it. Um, it can spam Roost on me. It can't really... Um, uh, we're, we're, it can't really take care of the Mega Aggron because it doesn't have Whirlwind. So if it had Whirlwind... I would have been concerned, but since he showed me spikes, I figured his last move has to be uh, Roost, so he doesn't have Whirlwind. Um, he's just keep going. He keeps going for uh, Scalds here. He's not getting them. I'm just setting up curses until I get to plus six uh, because I can, <laughs> and I'm a cheeky bitch. So yeah, um, this is kind of where the game turns hugely in my favor because it's just, I was playing it right the whole time. I got my hazards up. Um, he has no hazard removal. Mega Aggron just fucks his team up. Uh, he gets a crit on the last skull, but that's fine. That still does absolutely jack shit. And uh, I think this is my last curse or yeah. And then I can go for a rest and get my Mega Aggron back up, I believe, right? Because how much does he take from his poison? Enough to die next turn, so. I have to go for a rest here as he goes for a Scald, so even if he got the Scald burn, as I said, I would have been able to rest it up later on. Didn't really matter too much that he didn't get it. Uh, it's whatever. So I just go for the rest as he's going to stay in and die to the Toxic Poison, which goes down as a Team Hazard kill because it was Toxic Spikes, not actual Toxic. Um, so yeah, this thing goes down and that's perfect. Um, I completely used it as setup fodder. It 
that's just perfect. Like, it was completely used to set up water. Now, this Karen Black comes in, and I get scared that it might have Earth Power. If it does have Earth Power, this could be game over for me, possibly. But, he brings it in, and he goes for an Ice Beam. And I was really wondering, like, why are you going for Ice Beam? It's not like you can free- it's jack shit. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stay in here, I'm gonna go for a Sleep Talk, and I get Rest the first turn. Which really sucks, uh, but it's fine. I can take whatever hit this thing has for me now, especially now that I know it doesn't have Earth Power. Um, it's mostly physical, so yeah. Uh, he is going to bring out the Sylveon here. Uh, I believe I just go for a rest, and no, I go for a sleep talk, and I get, I think I get rest again. Do I? I can't remember. This, this match was so long, it's so hard to remember everything. But I do go for a sleep talk here. Uh, oh, I get the Iron Head, and I take out the Sylveon, which is perfect. That was just dandy indeed so yeah Sylveon's down uh to Mega Aggron that's one kill for Mega Aggron he does bring out the Arcanine here now and Arcanine is going to take some Stealth Rocks damage now I want you to see how much this Life Orb Flare Blitz does to me at plus six defense uh it's pretty damn impressive <laughs> uh he goes for the Flare Blitz and it literally does like t not even 20 damage like 23 damage. That's it. That's that's it. And he he did more damage to himself than he did to me. So I'm just gonna go for an iron head here and take this thing out. And that's two kills for Mega Aggron. <laughs> this thing was a monster. I love it. Oh my god. Mega Aggron is a god. Mega Godron. Oh my god. So he, he brings in the Skarmory here, and this is where I'm just gonna start going for Iron Heads as he's uh, going for Brave Birds and Roosts and trying to stall me out, but it's not really going to work out. Um, even if he wanted to go down the timer, that's fine. I would have more Pokemon than him, and they would be healthier. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of pointless for him to just spam Roost here. Because, um... As I told him in the chat, I was like, you know, Iron Head has more PP than Roost anyway, so um, all you're doing is time stalling. You know, you, you can't take like two or three Iron Heads. I don't I don't know if it would be a two a K or a three a K, but he couldn't take them. I think I just go for a curse somewhere in there to get my attack back up back up to plus six. And um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I don't know. This was just total time stall. It was total time stall right here because he knew he couldn't do anything, so he was just spamming Roost to try and um, wear me down. It wasn't working out for him. He goes for spikes, that's cute, you know. It doesn't really matter at this point, I'm not switching Mega Aggron out. Um, I can sort of just spam Iron Head and win the game. So, yeah. Um, it was a really, really weird game. Uh, as I told him right here, it said, stop going for Roost because I have more... I have more Iron Head PP than you have Roost PP, so obviously sooner or later I'm just going to be able to take you out with an Iron Head, and uh, you know, I think I had 17 Iron Heads at the point where he was down to like maybe 10 Roost or so, so obviously he was going to run out of Roost before I was going to run out of Iron Heads, so I, I don't know. It, it was really cheeky for him to do, but it's whatever. Um, it didn't really matter in the long run because, you know, he can't can't do anything <laughs> he just can't do anything to me um this Skarmory was not meant to take on Mega Aggron he did not see this set coming he didn't bring Whirlwind he didn't bring Defog with this thing uh I, I don't know why when you have a huge Stealth Rocks weakness on your team with um Kieran Black and Arcanine uh so I just keep going for Iron Heads you know I I don't know <laughs> I'm waiting for him to switch or just stop going for Roost, because it's really annoying, and it's just stalling out the match, so. Yeah! Um. Oh my god. Yep. So, he just keeps going for Roost, trying to prolong the inevitable uh, Mega Aggron sweep, but he does switch out here, as I told him, after like 50 times. <laughs> you know, Roost isn't getting you anywhere. Uh, 
let's just come on like don't be a dick so he's gonna switch out the jolteon into the jolteon and the jolteon goes down the rocks he's gonna go back into kieran black and um this thing's gonna take some stealth rocks damage it cannot do jack shit to me like honestly nothing like when have you ever heard of kieran black can't do anything right now so he does show me the fusion bolt which kind of shows me he is more of an offensive set um which is fine because that d does literally jack shit and iron head is just going to take out his kieran black uh now he's just left down to his skarmory and i don't want to play the game of him going for roost all day and me going for iron heads so i'm just going to switch out into my zapdos and let zapdos get the last kill because i didn't really care if mega agron got another kill or not i was like I'm not I'm not playing this game with him. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and play this game, so he does just go for a Brave Bird. I guess he was letting Mega Agron get the kill, but uh I I was just sick and tired of him going for Roost. I really was. I was like, you need to stop. <laughs> you need to stop going for Roost. Like that that's so annoying. Like roosting up when it's not gonna help you at all. So I'm just gonna go for a discharge here, and that's gonna be the game, guys. That was the primetime game for week three of the PGL. I hope you guys did enjoy. It was a very long match, and despite the 5-0 score, it was a very good one. Uh, very intense. It was very tense the first few minutes, and then it just kind of boiled down to me getting the upper hand after a while with Mega Aggron. And yeah, things kind of went to my plan. Um, so if you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. Leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know. Leave a thumbs up. That would be nice. And... Uh, yeah, if you're excited for more PGL. Funny thing, I picked up Talonflame, and specifically in this match where I figured it would do something, it did nothing. It never came in, it never saw the field, anything. It's crazy. Mamoswine only came in once against the Jolteon, that's it! Like, oh my god. So, hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, we turned things around in the PGL now. We are uh, 1 and 2 minus 1 now. Which is fabulous! Oh my god! Ugh. And yeah, so... Uh, like I said, we are on the turnaround train now. After the first two weeks of horribly being hacked and horribly losing. Um, I, I think uh, we're back on track. So, next week we take on Gearheart and the Seattle Star Raptors. So more Seattle teams coming our way. And I hope you guys are here for that, because that's going to be a good one. Uh, the two D-League guys, D-League Season 2 guys in this league, who are being defeated. <laughs> um, oh my god, yeah, as I just said, I woke up, so I'm stretching out. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so enjoy, guys, and I will see you later. I don't know why, I just did a little salute.